open. Good day to you, miss. You have some very beautiful plants here. Why, thank you, sir. And good day to you, too. But... Oh, I, I do beg your pardon. My name is Dr. John Watson. This is my good friend, Mr. Sherlock Holmes. I am honored to make your acquaintance, gentlemen. My name is Margaret White. Excuse me, but are you Sherlock Holmes, the great detective? Yes, I am he. What a pleasure to see you here at Kew Gardens. Are you working on a case? Yes, a theft of plants that took place here a few days ago after their most recent exhibition. Oh, oh yes, of course. I quite forgot about that. Oh, it's quite understandable that you might forget about the theft of the plants, miss, after the tragedy that took place here. Yes, the director was a truly good man. It is such a terrible misfortune. Would you happen to know why part of the colonial collection was cleared? No, I have never been there. Do you work here? Part-time only. I am a biology student at the London University. I attend the same classes as the son of Mr. Montague Dunn. That is how I found my chance to work here for part of my thesis, you see. It is a great honor. How well did you know Mr. Montague Dunn? He was a master, a great leader. I saw him almost as a spiritual father. He had an exceptional nature? Oh yes, indeed. He was always so active and so optimistic and very nice to me. Although he could behave harshly towards his son. Why so? He loved his son dearly, and wanted the very best for him. It made him extremely demanding. Albert, who was naturally shy, suffered because of it. Most of the doors in Kew Gardens are locked. Do you have a key to this room? Oh, yes. Albert gave me a set of duplicate keys. He agreed I might carry out my studies without disturbing him. It is only temporary. Thank you, miss. None of the three people who work at Kew Gardens know why half of the colonial collection was cleared. So, someone is lying, it is obvious. Kew Gardens is such an exciting place, wouldn't you agree? A book about ships. Nothing at all to do with plants. These leather gloves are new and of good quality. They do not appear to have been used. Materials for college study. They belong to Albert. This place serves as Albert's office. Someone should take Toby for a walk. Have you found something interesting? 
Come on, Toby. We have some work for you to do. Let us go to Kew Gardens. A map of... Let us take Toby to the laboratory. He will pick up the scent of this mysterious substance. Search, Toby. Search. Congratulations, Toby. Now let us see what you have found. This is the bottle that was used in the laboratory. It was buried here. There is still some liquid remaining in the bottle, with gold flakes, a tiny caterpillar. Not surprising to see one in a garden, but at the bottom of a bottle. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Let us determine just what we have found here. Let us pour liquid from the bottle into a test tube to perform an analysis. colorless, water-based liquid. Quite a strong floral aroma. Holmes, what are you doing? It has a bitter taste. What if it's poisonous? Did you ever see poison stored in enormous jars like that? Anyway, there is a doctor nearby. So what do you think it is? It is some kind of organic compound. Let us vaporize the liquid and see what happens. Small colorless crystals. Colorless, tiny crystals that are soluble in water with a floral smell and a bitter taste. Watson, could you pass me that small bottle, please? Of course. Here you are. Uh, Holmes, do you know what it is? Wagner's reagent. There was a label on the bottle that you passed to me. No, Holmes, I meant the bottle that we found. Let me add the reagent and see if there is any sediment, and then I shall tell you. I need to take... Red sediment, just as I suspected. This liquid is of organic origin. It contains some alkaloid. Most likely it is unstable, and that is why there is a quantity of gold dust to prevent contamination. This mixture is probably a fertilizer. Someone was carrying out unusual experiments in the garden's laboratory. Mr. Hamish, was someone from your family connected with Kew Gardens? Family? No. 
I'm the only one with a passion for botany. I do not think so. This photograph of you and your father at Kew Gardens suggests the opposite. Ah, but you have no right to. Do tell us more about your father. He was, indeed, the greatest botanist of his time in the British Empire. He worked together with Montague Dunn until the end of his life. He brought me in at the age of 12. Did he get on well with Mr. Dunn? No, I couldn't say that. They expanded Kew Gardens together, that was all. And it was all my father's work. But Dunn always lived the high life. So Mr. Dunn was not helping your father? Oh, yes. He provided the financial support. And as far as he was concerned, that fulfilled his role. But the worst of it was, he declared himself as the master of Kew Gardens. Fame meant nothing to my father. So it was easy for Mr. Dunn to take all the credit. There is a bust of Montague Dunn in the nursery. A bust? Oh, that old thing. Further proof of that outrageous ego of his. But why in that room, in particular? Oh, I, I don't know. It has always been there. It is strange, because I recovered a fragment of the bust inside the colonial collection room. Really? Oh, well, so I am mistaken. It ought to have been removed during the cleanup. This room is so small. Hmm. Do you know who moved it? I have no idea. Surely Mr. Dunn requested it. Do you have any more questions like this? Because fragments of rock are not my responsibility. Evidently. Thank you, Mr. Hamish. We shall continue our investigation. I perceive that you are passionate about the Royal Navy. Passionate? No, not really. I like ships, that is all. Are you quite sure? You do not seem to be so interested in plants. It's difficult, that's all. My future is here. It has never been about anything else. And yet, I know that the Royal Naval College rejected your application. Ah, oh, you truly are as clever as they say. Yes, that's correct. And in fact, my father was strongly against the idea. He did his best to ruin my plans, although I almost did succeed. But my dreams were shattered, Mr. Holmes. Thank you, young man. We shall see you again soon. That is not the one I need. That is... Here it is.
Here it is. The Divine Syndicate is not a supplier to Kew Gardens. Besides, there is no address here. Here it is. And here is the Divine Syndicate's address. Perfect. It is time to find out what they have against Montague Dunn. That is not the... Here it is.